Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are playing Dungeons Anima. It is an action roguelite ARPG so it's a mix of a whole lot of different uh, genres. It's kind of taken um, inspiration from uh, Darksiders Genesis as well as Hades and games like that so we do have meta progression over here and then we've also got character meta progression over here as well so you can increase the stats of all of your characters so if we had to like level up uh, the uh, archer we would get increased agility agility sorry uh, max skill points uh, dexterity and things like that at skill points I'm not sure what happens we are at level one so maybe it lets us change things at the skill forge but we can change skill uh, we got a spread shot arrow, arrow rain, drill shot, uh, things like that. And it looks like we need to have skill points in order to unlock some of these. So uh, we're going to start off with explosive arrow. We can actually go and upgrade uh, this to number two or upgrade our uh, auto attack. It looks like it allows us to be moving when doing that. So we're actually going to upgrade that. Uh, and then to equip it, it doesn't. Act, oh, it does actually allow us, and it looks like that's what it does. So the skill points are how you equip your skill points. So these skill points cost 200 skill points to equip, and then this one costs 100 skill points to equip, and therefore we're able to have both of them in at the moment. So that means we can actually go and see if we can upgrade everyone else. It does look like we can. We're going to go and upgrade his ability over there and equip it. And then we've got other skills. He's got the Marty Force Leap, um, Gale Force. What does this do? Harness the power of the wind to project a concentrated gust in a directed path, pushing back enemies and causing damage to those in its trajectory. Vortex Slash, perform a swift attack that draws in foes like a vortex, dealing damage to all enemies trapped. Warcry or Shockwave Slam. Ooh, he's got some very interesting ones. I like the Mighty Force Leap, but it doesn't target enemies. So maybe we can go with the... Uh, let's go try the Vortex Slam, because it, it seems like it could be quite interesting. And then our Mage, unfortunately, we don't have any Arcane Mastery with them yet. I don't think they're one that we use the most. Uh, I don't like the Meteor Shower just because of the way the targeting works. So we're actually going to grab... Ah, oh, okay, I like that. That looks pretty cool. Alright, cool. It would be nice if we could have upgraded one of these skills, but unfortunately we couldn't. But that's really cool, so you can customize the characters to be however you want them to be. That's what the, the, the Vortex Slash looks like. Uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, oh yeah, we've already had that one, but now we are able to move while shooting, which is really, really fantastic. And then uh, we push number two to get to the uh, the wizard, which started with those orbs around us. But let's get straight into the dungeon, see what it is like. Um, they're actually very difficult, so this game isn't easy, and you are going to have to probably die and respawn a couple of times and go from there. But let's see how well we do. I think we should use the, the mage a bit more so we can upgrade his... Uh, skills and stuff. So let's see if we go close. It doesn't really do anything. So maybe it just protects us. I don't know. I thought it was supposed to seek out enemies, but obviously it doesn't. Oh, there is also a target lock on. So I think that helps with uh, aiming. It means we don't have to actually aim. But uh, as you can see, you can miss. So there is that as well. All right, let's go pick up his soul. Thank you very much. And then uh, we can either go into this door or we can keep going. I think we're going to keep going. We are going to swap out the characters. I do want to see what that... Oh, oh, that's so good. As you can see, I am very good at this game. Oh, fantastic. I do like this skill quite a lot. Can you, like, not, not die? That would be fantastic. 
Also, I don't know what R does. Maybe it heals us. It does. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, but it uses souls. Okay, that's bad. I did not realize that. I'll just chill here behind you and uh, smack your face. Fantastic, thank you. Alright, so to heal you, you souls. That's really a bit swack over there, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't expect that. I just lost all my souls. Oh, that's sad. But it is what it is. Alright, so there was an enemy down here. There we go. I think Archer might land up being my favorite class. Uh, the only thing is I do wish we could hold down left click to uh, shoot. Not being able to aim where we're shooting like on the move is quite a painful. Also, I don't really want the auto target on. As long as I can shoot where my, boat, where my cursor is, I'm happy. Okay, we do need the warrior here though. It's so much stronger. Okay, what is this? Nowhere we can go. That is not a door, even though it looked like one. Okay, locate the chamber of the invader's leader. So there are uh, quests, as you can see. So things for us to do. Just kill them quickly. Fantastic. Get some more souls. We don't really want to use those souls because that's what's used for upgrades. Uh, for us to, you know, obviously upgrade our abilities and things like that. So we want to try and keep them as much as possible. Just kill this dude because, you know, we want to get rid of that. And then this guy and his laser beams needs to die as well. Fantastic. Oh, I just need a right click and everything dies. I love that. Such a strong skill. Mm. Alright, there's a door over here. We're just going to right click and they should die. Well, they didn't, but a little bit of a left click afterwards and they do die. Okay. Things aren't destroyable. That would be nice. It would be nice if there were things like chests and such to kind of fill the world. Um, again, this is in a pre-alpha or an alpha demo, so there's still quite a lot to uh, be had. I am going to heal just a little bit, unfortunately. I, I think us getting further into the game will be more beneficial than dying too early on. So. It, it will be much better for us if we can try and do a lot better in this run and things like that. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, I do like that there's freedom in the beginning to pick different skills and stuff because it does make a big difference. Also, I just picked up, I don't know, like that was a single soul. Maybe the amount of souls you drop from enemies could be a bit more, especially if you use them for healing. Also, I think the tutorial might have told me that you use them for healing, but I kind of forgot already. It's been a while since I did the tutorial of this game, so that would make a lot of sense. We received one skill mastery upgrade. Okay, cool. We look like we're in another area now with uh, different enemies, which is really cool. At least you do get different enemies in the game. So that's pretty cool to see. There aren't a lot of games that do that uh, recently. A lot of them like copy pasta their, their enemies or just change an attack pattern or whatever the case may be. So it is cool to see a couple of enemies looking completely different with different attacks as well. I will go through this door as well, I think. We just need to kind of destroy everything up there. It's really cool that we're able to do that <laughs> because otherwise you you normally, I think it's the uh, archer that we need to use. No, it's the wizard. So the wizard can actually jump from place to place because it does have like a teleport jump. 
so we are able to to use that to go from there to there but uh, I think we need to go through the door over here no we're gonna go down the bottom first um, the door would be nice to go down oh we can't go anywhere else all right so we can't go that way I'm sure we came from there though that's weird no we never let's go this way and see where we can go Door number one took us to a very dangerous room. Okay, there's one arch down. There's two down. Three down, we did get a little bit hit there, but that's okay. Let's destroy this thing now. Fantastic, they're dead. There is an archer or two in this room as well, so we do just gotta be careful. Of course, with a, another machine gun. Fantastic. Ow. Okay, we've picked up more skill memories. There's another door over here. Reveal what's behind the door. I don't really want to reveal what's behind the door. I do want to try and complete. Oh, I need to locate the... Ooh, okay. So this could actually be quite difficult. I think we are going to use a bit of souls to heal. At least go to like 600. That's fine. We will eventually take a door when we have to, but uh, I don't really want to just yet. I think we need to kind of clear out this area as much as possible just for now. Uh, also, I think the archer might be able to run faster. It does look that way. I really, I really dislike the having to click all the time for for the skills. I think they need to need to make it so that you can hold. It would feel a lot more comfortable. Okay, where is my, my dude? I need to get the numbers right. I do wonder what this would be like when you're playing a multiplayer as well. It would be quite interesting. Alright, so this room says eliminate the menace from within. Yeah, let's do that. I have no idea what this means. I think we're going to have a boss fight and probably die. Yeah, war construct defeat the enemy all right so this is what we had to do we have the enemy over here i think he's quite hectic um yeah this looks this looks quite hectic ow and so much damage how is that fair there you take that poison um, I do think the, the sound could maybe have been louder. The, the music doesn't seem to really play quite well in the boss room. So that is one thing, unfortunately, as well, that I, I see that maybe could have changed or uh, been uh, updated. How did that hit me? I was not hit there. That's not fair. Okay, 
Yeah, I do like that we added the, the poison, I mean like being able to shoot at the same time as moving because that's really helped us over here. Also, he keeps getting a shield which isn't fair. Also, what is this? Never mind, I'm being distracted. I wonder if we can destroy his shield generator or something. Also, I keep forgetting that I have a block. Nope, not that that mattered. All right, death found us. We do are going to have to try and get a bit uh, stronger. Um, the whole time it tells you how long you spent with each class, the amount of damage we got. We did get a bit of uh, arcane upgrades over there. Anima gained negative 43. Great. Um, so we actually lost anima there instead of gaining it. Uh, I don't know how that works. Let's see if it actually... Uh, I think that meant that our overall anima we lost compared to what we had before. Uh, this looks like it could be something, but let's go look at our, our skills over here. Uh, we do need to try and get more upgrades. Oh, we can. We'll be able to level them up when we get more anima. So we are going to have to farm a bit for that. Uh, but it looks like we can upgrade a skill for the um, sorcerer. Uh, the R Sentinel did not work the way that I thought it would, so I don't really like that. Uh, maybe something like R Beam would be better. That looks like it could be, otherwise something like Elemental uh, thing. This does, R Beam allows for movement, and it's a water move. Everything he has is water. Okay, so we're going to equip R Beam, and I think we can actually level it up. So we're going to bar R Beam 2. Yeah, we've got enough for that. Uh, what's the difference between Ice Beam 1? It gets more damage. Alright, perfect. So that's going to help with that. And then things like these help. We can't really do much anyway. I think maybe Explosive Arrow would be better not having Explosive Arrow. If that makes sense. Uh, that's Channeling. That's Charged. That's Cast Type Combo. Shoot heavy arrows that explode into shrapnel material at close distance resulting in the spread of... Damaging multi-enemies, multiple, no, I think we need something to do. I think we need something like this for that boss fight, uh, the arrow rain. So we'll try arrow rain next time. And then uh, I like the vortex slash, so we'll keep that going. But uh, that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you liked the introduction of the game. Please let me know what you think about it. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future as well. And always remember... Keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.